down here for a minute. Well, are you gonna arrest me? You're gonna be escorted to an interview room. But I already told you everything. I know, but I need your written statement. All right, put it all down on paper, everything you told me. Don't leave anything out, okay? All right, this way. Is Tail Delgado still in the building? She left. All right. Get Miss Wild situated, and there's one other thing I want you to do for me. Mijo, did you see what happened? Who attacked this man? Marco, just tell us what's going on. It's complicated. No, it isn't. I refuse to watch my only son locked up for something he didn't do, especially when he may very well know who the guilty party is. Wait, hey, hey, where are you going? To get your lawyer. She needs to know what's going on. No, no, Papi, just let me handle this. Your father's right. Enough is enough. Marco, Marco, what's really going on? Hmm? Why won't you say? Hey, Rivera, you want it upstairs? My brother. Hey, Bobby. It's me, James. That's what happened, isn't it? Star and her father came to you and told you they think I'm the one who pushed you down the stairs, that I'm the reason you lost your baby. Why do you think they'd tell me that? Because they think I want Cole and that I'd hurt you to get to him. I mean, have you ever heard of something so crazy? Yeah, I've seen and heard a lot of crazy things. Worse than this. It doesn't get much worse than defending your rapist. The worst part is that Cole believes it's best for us to be apart right now. He doesn't even want me to come visit him anymore. Well, you'll come through it. You have to. You guys can beat anything. Oh, I hope you're right. Hey, look, if you ever need to talk about Matthew or this mystery guy... <sighs> There's nothing to say about Nate. Nate? From the play? We kiss... once. Okay, twice. Barf. What was that? Oh, my God, are you spying on us? <laughs> Why would this Nate guy kiss you? Is he blind? I'll show you blind. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Jack! Get back here! <laughs> well, doesn't this just warm my heart? Oh my Yeah, Bo, we've uh we've got uh we got new evidence on the uh on the Ford case. I'm not sure, but it could change everything. No, no, don't worry about it. I'll let you know. Enjoy your honeymoon. Okay. Hey, holding up. Fine. Um, is Taya coming? No, 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 she's not. Then, I, I don't get it. I mean, I thought you weren't allowed to question me without a present. No, nah, Marco. This isn't a, an interview. It's just, uh, you know, there's something I want you to know. What's that? I'm on your side. You are? Yeah, you know... Look at this case, and, uh, I don't know. It seems like I should like you for it, you know? There's, there's physical evidence, there's motive, but there's just, there's something that's telling me that you're innocent. With that new evidence you were talking about, I'm sorry, I couldn't help over here. It's okay. It's okay, you know? Yeah, that's what it is. And on its own, you know, it doesn't seem like it's enough, but taken in context with the truth about, say, you know, how your shoe print got in Ford's blood, well, you know, that might do the trick. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about it, all right? Think about working with me. And you know, maybe we can get you home, maybe, maybe as soon as today, okay? Dude, wait, wait. I can explain about the shoes. I'm listening. Uncle, stop. Okay, Adam. Mind if Jack and I join you guys? No way. It's Jack's day. No girls allowed. What do you guys say? Yeah, I had plans, so I better go. Do you really have to go? Yes. She asked him. We'll hang out later, I promise. Bye, healthy. Later, scaredy. I'm not scared. Uh-huh. <sighs> Glad we dodged that bullet. 
I want to find my mini chopper. I want to scare some old ladies. All right, then get it set up. Thanks. You and Danny okay? No, we were close, man. We were this close. And then Hannah took it away from me. She's gonna get hers. You were at the hospital when I fell. And now you're back here visiting a man that you hate who was nearly beaten to death. Because I used to care about him. I told you that. It's hard to just... quit that. Cold turkey. I mean, have you ever thought that maybe that's the reason you're even listening to Todd? After everything he's done to you? Maybe you can't let him go. I hope I'm wrong. Because it would be really awful if you let him off the hook just so that he could hurt you again. She better not do anything of the sort. So, I think I may have scored some points with Marty. She's starting to have doubts about my guilt. How'd you make that happen? I told her about our Hannah suspicions. I already told her that at the bail hearing. Then we're getting through to her. Dad, I don't think we have time to keep working on Marty. That's why I'm focusing on Hannah. I tried to worm a confession out of her the other day, but she wouldn't bite. I did get some good stuff, though. Like what? Well, I think she may have been the one to bash that TA's brains in. So walk me through it. How does your bloody shoe print wind up in Ford's room when you said you never went back to the apartment? Because I did go back. Uh, I did. I told you Chris and Layla left me at the Buenos Dias. Yeah, I, I, I kept thinking about what Ford and Langston did to me, and I, I couldn't stand it. So when I get there, the front door's unlocked, right? I let myself in. I go back into Ford's room. Get up! Get up, you son of a bitch! But I could see that he was huh? in bed, so Come I on. shook him. Come on! I told him to get up. But he didn't move. And that's when I, I, I felt it, all of this, this wet stuff all over my hands. So I turn on the lights, and there's just blood everywhere, all, all, all over my hands, on the floor, on, on the wall, on the bed, and, and all over Ford. Then what'd you do, Marco? <sighs> Come on. Come I, this far. I panicked, all right? I panicked, and, and I... I ran all the way back to the diner. I washed my hands. I, I threw out my shoes. It was stupid, but... And then the next day, I went to the hospital to get my hand fixed up, right? And they bring in Ford, alive. I mean, I had no idea. If, if I had known, I thought he, he had to be dead. He had to be dead. But if I had known that he was alive, I wouldn't have left him there, not for a second. But I didn't say anything because I knew that everybody would think that I was the one who did it. But I didn't do it. I swear to you, I didn't do it. This whole thing is just it's a big misunderstanding. And, and this new evidence proves that I'm innocent now, doesn't it, right?